Hello, it's Beaumont Gibbs Estate Agents. Today I'm showing you this absolutely stunning four bedroomed Victorian terrace house for sale in Lakedale Road. The property is situated over four floors and literally is immaculate throughout. There is not a speck of dirt throughout this property. Everything inside has been refurbished to an extremely high standard and I'm gonna enjoy showing you around this property. Before I show you inside, just wanna show you right opposite we are looking over Wind Common itself. So you've got a fantastic outlook on this house. And right at the top of the road here is Kings Highway, and then basically to the right of that is Plumstead Common Road itself. And you've got a selection of shops on the Slade there. And down the bottom of the road, going this way, if you follow your nose, uh, that will take you into Lakedale Road and there's also some shops down there as well. Just want to stand here, just to give you a feel of the road, what it looks like. Before I go inside, I'll just quickly show you the little park opposite. So if you have young children, this is a lovely little uh, thing to have right opposite you. So here we are, Wind Common play area and the house is just literally across the road there. I'll just take you down here. They've got a paddling pool, which is open during the summer for a few weeks. I don't know exactly when, but just to explain whereabouts we are, you can see where we are here. And you've also got this playground area as well, which is great. So if you've got young kids, it's fantastic for that. Right, let's go inside and show you around. Okay, so we've come in on the ground floor level here. You've got lovely parky wood flooring. As you can see on the ground floor level. That's your entrance door. Now, as the property is over four storeys, the accommodation is very flexible. So this room here, we've classified it as a bedroom. So the bedrooms are on the ground first floor level and then you've got a loft room on the second floor level with your reception room open plan to the kitchen downstairs so but you can obviously use it however you see fit to do so. So, so this is a beautiful room obviously looking directly over Wind Common itself as you can see. The shutters are staying as well so they're, they're fitted shutters they will stay in the house. The property literally is spotless throughout. Um, you'd be very hard pushed to find a house of a better quality anywhere around this area. So this is the other bedroom on this level. I currently use it as a study. This is the wife's study room as you actually should say. Again shutters here, they're folded back at the moment but there you go. And then you also have a bank of fitted storage cupboards here as well. So you just press on the door. As you can see, lots of space for shoe racks and so forth. And the same on the other side as well. beautiful stained glass feature window there and then we have the door through to the bathroom so it's a family bathroom here so you've got a walk-in shower cubicle as well as a double-ended bath with mixer tap there maybe close couple of WC which is concealed and your wash basin and you've also got a bank of mirrored cupboards there as well very, very nice. I'll just put the lights on for you so you can see. So you've got all the spotlights and automatic extractor when it comes on. Okay. Right. What I'm going to do is take you upstairs first of all and then we'll go down to the lower level afterwards. So you've got these lovely fitted carpets throughout on the uh, first and second floor levels. Then 
landing here. Got a nice window. And look in the rear again, you've got fantastic views to the rear and the front of this house. And as you can probably tell from this video, it's so light in here. It really is like all the walls are all white. So it just the light just bounces off everywhere. So this is the main bedroom. A really, really good size. Again, got your wardrobes fitted in. All along there, so bank of wall length floor to ceiling wardrobes. This is a, uh, a larger than a double bed. I think this is a king size bed and it comfortably sits in this room. So you've got a bay window and another window there giving again lots of natural light. The shutters again are staying. Again that's a fantastic view over Wing Common. So you never get bored looking out there. It's absolutely beautiful. So you're at the top end of the road. So only a short walk to Plumstead Common Road and the shops there as well. Let's go up. Oh, and then you forgot. I've got a bedroom here and then you forgot to show you that one. So this is the other bedroom. Get a good size room this. You can get a double bed in it. Obviously it's their daughter's room at the moment. There's lots of cupboards and bits and pieces in here but um, you could get a double room in here, double bed rather, in here if you wish to do so. Let's stand back so you get a good idea what this room is about. Okay, right let's go up to the top floor. This is a fantastic room, so this could be used for many different reasons. Um, the husband uses it as his study room at this moment in time, as you can see. But it could be a guest bedroom or whatever you want to use it for. So you've got three windows, one facing the front. There we are there. The windows are on sort of pistons, so you've got to hydraulic pistons there so they get the windows up and you've got two big windows there so again very very bright and airy push this window up and then we have this fantastic view so I'll just zoom in a little bit because this is what it looks like to the natural eye this is sort of the distance you see with your own eyes firework night and so forth we've got some fantastic scenery out there and as you can see you've got uh, Canary Wolf over there well, I'll just stand back at this angle just so you can see this room from here and you've got an eave storage cupboard in this room here as well okay Right, so let's take you down to the lower ground floor level now. Okay, so I'm just restarting this from the ground floor level and we've got these steps leading down. And now we enter the main room of the house, this unbelievably huge and stylish open plan lounge and kitchen area. I'll just stand back here so you can get an idea of what we're looking into here. So we've got, it's about a 36 foot room this, so it is very very spacious indeed. I'll start with the kitchen area. So you've got this lots of range of uh, white gloss Philly Walden base units and you've got these laminate worktops as well which are look, look like a concrete effect but they are in fact laminate. Now, I just want to mention the appliances here. The appliances are very expensive appliances. Um, the owners don't yet know whether or not they'll be taking them with them or whether or not they'll be you know, willing to sell them. So um, at the point of someone making an offer on the property, we suggest that you discuss with us about these appliances as to whether or not you, know, you wish to buy them off the owner or whether or not they're willing to leave them or some of them in the property, depending on what they find themselves. 
So I'll just quickly show you, so there's a space for a, um, an oven and a microwave. You've got a uh, space for an induction hob and you've got an extractor hood here. And at the moment they've got a, a steam oven and a built-in coffee machine. So this coffee machine, I know the owner's definitely taking it with him because he only bought it a week ago. space for a uh, American style fridge freezer here and these cupboards house a space for a tumble dryer and plumbing for an automatic washing machine and here is your you've got your fuse board here and also there is a water softener machine which I can't quite show you because um, there's bits and bobs in the way but there is a water softener in here um, I actually forgot to um, mention actually on the ground floor there's a cupboard on the ground floor just before you enter the bathroom and that cupboard houses the combination boiler um, okay so just to show you um, a feature in the uh, bathroom in fact as well as here there is a fitted sort of sound system so they've got speakers in here so you obviously have to get your own amplifier and so forth but the speakers are wired in so you can have um, separate uh, sound in the bathroom as well as the, the living area down here as well uh, the flooring is beautiful antico flooring and the spotlightings are separated on different settings so you can have a bank of spotlights on at the back or in the middle or at the end as well um, you have got underfloor heating here as well, so which is really, really handy because the room is then not taken up by sort of large radiators. It obviously looks much more stylish without radiators on the wall, so it's really, really uh, a nice touch that. By folding doors lead out to the garden. And then you've got this lovely paved garden here. You hear the scratching, that's the uh, the rabbits, he wants to get out. He's a house rabbit. I'll just show you there, look. <laughs> Little fella wants to get out. That's what the scratching noise is. Got this beautiful tree at the end of the garden here. And that's the back of the house. All the, the render at the back has been insulated as well, so it's uh, it rendered and insulated. And lastly, I just want to show you the ground floor shower room that they've managed to fit in here. So, fantastic use of space. So you've got your, your sink here, and you've got your shower unit, your shower enclosure rather, in here. And then you have your loo right there. There's also a shader point there as well for your convenience. Okay. Right, and that is the end of the video. I hope you uh, will agree with me that this is one of the best houses that you probably would have ever seen of this kind. Uh, certainly one of the best houses I've seen. So, um, you know, I would advise you strongly to make an early viewing appointment because I can guarantee uh, there's going to be a strong demand for people wanting to look at it. So hopefully um, you'd like to give us a call. Beaumont Gibbs Estate Agents, 0208 319 7600. Many thanks for watching.